We have some American influence here that, tonight, and I'm sure that he'd like to show you, uh, talk a little bit about baseball. Chip Gray wants to say a few words for us.
looks to me that he has a lot of talent and a lot of ability. We just had to pick up the right signs at the right time. That's the problem we had this year. But uh, Mike, this year, has picked up the most strikeouts, which uh, put him in as the driver of the bus to Sydney. Oh, 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 oh. To go along with that, Mike, will you please come up? To go along with that, we have given him a little wider bat at the end. <laughs> so next year, he will not need uh, to be the driver of the bus. And Mike, we'd like to present that to you. Thank you. Not just 
once or twice, but consistently this year came out with sock without socks on with cleats. And I mentioned to Kevin one day at practice when we were running behind him saying, What's the guy doing without cleats on his I mean he's gotta use them in a game and he does wear, you know, socks. So what I have done is uh, Darren Henderson, if you are here tonight, please come on up. Thank you. And I like to get to the socks.
And the equipment manager had a tough time getting there. I don't know if it was because of the hangover the night before or just forgot to set his alarm. But what I have done is I've got him a, a watch. Okay, I don't know if it tells time or not, but it tells enough. What's it say on it? Oh, yeah, it's an army man on it. Hopefully, I'll get there with, you know, all guns firing. But, uh, Sorella, will you please come on?
toilet. <laughs> uh, I will continue on with the awards. Oh, uh, if you have to go to the bathroom, I don't mind you walking across the floor. <laughs> I know. It's okay, I don't mind it. You know, uh, when I was taking public speaking and I flunked it, uh, someone said you can walk behind the speaker. Oh, that's okay, I'll step back and you can walk behind me and not bother me. But uh, the next award, uh, it took a lot of work to prepare this one. You can ask, you can ask, you know, you can ask uh, uh, Brett's brother, Brett's brother, Jock, as we call him at the workshop. But uh, we had a problem this year with one of our pitchers at the beginning of the year. I had him working in a cage out here in the uh, batting cages. To the point where he had four cages around him the whole time. And he was throwing bees out there. He looked like a major league pitcher. And the first time I finally got him out on the mound, he lasted two innings and walked about 24 people. <laughs> I couldn't figure out what the problem was. And he just came up to me one day and he says, I need a cage around me. Oh, jeez, you know, one of those mental things, you know? They call it white line fever. As soon as you cross the white lines there, you know, you're just mental capacity just goes to waste. But what we, uh, what we did, he, he ended up this year doing very well. He threw the second game against East Torrance and, you know, should have had a win. Uh, Tony Dutch, would you put this as a matter of fact, you could ski off their nose. But uh, this one guy, we call him Ski Jump. And it has to go to Steve Mitchell because he always had white cream on his nose. <laughs> So I 
but uh, it didn't work out that way. But this has been the year of the chops, not just for Tucky, but for a few other people. <laughs> That's why I saved this one for the last. Uh, what I have done, or my, Peter and myself, devised the chops. What we have done, we have the axe from the year of the top. And we start with baseball this year. We also love life.
after I got blown out in the first inning, he turned around and threw five great innings of ball. Um, and he just make, he's just doing it all this year. He's done an excellent job. There's a lot of other people that I'd like to thank. Thank you. Marilyn, thank you very much back there. Everybody, if I didn't mention your names, I just want to say thank you. This time. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Norm Curtis. 
person who is our local member has kindly organised a trip for two years. We're going to go on a cultural exchange. And Norm, as a member of parliament, is going to give us a government grant. And we're going to go there on, a, on a cultural exchange fair. So uh, what the boys thought about this cultural exchange was uh, try this for size. If too small, larger sizes are available. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 